hello guys today we are doing lead code question number 121 which is best time to buy and sell stock in this question we are given with an array named prices where each index has the price of the stock on a particular day now we have to give the maximum profit which a person can make by buying a stock on the day when the price is low and selling it on a day where price is high we have to get the maximum profit so starting off with the code we are doing python uh, python 3 ok so in the arrays 0th index we will keep the minimum value this will be for our convenience now we will take a variable as maximum value and currently we will give it a zero value okay now what we are doing now is we are trying to get the least first we will if array is empty we have to give return zero so we will just do that if not prices return minus one okay fine now we will come up with the code so first we will get the minimum value from the array and to do that we will iterate a simple loop for loop for i in range length prices actually we have already assigned the minimum value at the zeroth index so now we will check for if if uh, any index has even lower value than 0th index we will check for that so we won't consider 0th index so we will count from first index so i in range from 1 to length of prices now we will check if prices i is even lower than the minimum value will replace the minimum minimum value with prices i so minimum value will be replaced with price of that index fine now again if either two things will happen if price of that day is either less than minimum value or it is greater than minimum value if it's greater than now we will use that thing to get the profit because if it's greater than we can sell it but we have to sell it at the time when the profit is maximum so we'll come up with a simple expression max value which we initially declared zero now we will take it as maximum of prices of that day minus minimum value now this this difference is going to be stored in this and it will go for the entire loop and whenever this thing is maximum it will be stored in max value and returned to there this will do that thing and uh, this we are doing if it's not if prices of that is not less than minimum value so we'll just give it as else condition and we'll take care of indentation hmm. so we are pretty much done with the code now we'll return the max value which we were initially asked now let's see if it's working So yeah, see, it's working. We passed the both of the test cases. Now we'll try to see if it's working for all the test cases. And yes, it's accepted. We did it. So thank you guys. That's all for today's video. We'll come up with the next problem another time. Thank you.